Hello and welcome to our Halloween spooktacular City Line here in the TV Tacoma studio. I'm Jeff Leader sitting in today for Amanda Westbrook. Well, we're going to have a great show today. We have four segments and three of those that will be coming up, Santa for Seniors, Tacoma Little Theater, and Washington Minority Business Development Agency. But first, on our comfy couch and side, aside the comfy couch is Pierce County Development Disability Legislative Forum. Joining us today is Blake Guyon, the Morningside Accessibility and Inclusion Liaison, and Jamie Stout, the Regional Program Manager, Disability Services for Goodwill. Welcome to CityLine. Thank you. Thank you for having us. So, Jamie, we'll start with you. What is the Pierce County Developmental Disabilities Legislative Forum? The Legislative Forum was designed uh, as an event designed for individuals with intellectual developmental disabilities, or IDD. Um, to get them in touch with their legislators so that they can sort of share their experience, strength, and hope around what their concerns and needs are directly with the individuals who are making policies for them. Nice. And Blake, when is the forum and why should people attend this event? This year's event is virtual. We will be live on Zoom Tuesday night, November 15th from 6.30 to 8.30 p.m. This is a great opportunity to advocate and meet others in your community. Very good. All right, Jamie, what can attendees expect? So attendees can expect to hear stories from other individuals in the IDD or intellectual developmental disability community. They'll get to hear who the winner is of the Tracy Vanderwall Award. And most importantly, they will have the opportunity to meet with their legislators to share their concerns uh, with, with the appropriate leg legislators. Oh, okay. And Blake, what will be discussed at the forum? This year, some of our priorities include caseload forecasting. This is a way to make sure there is funding to support the needs of people in our community in the state budget. We will also be talking about the importance of provider rates and, of course, housing. Very good. Jamie, where can people go to find more information about the event? You can find all the information about the event and sign up for the event at PierceLegislativeForum.org. Oh, okay. And Blake, what can I learn by going to the Pierce County Legislative Forum? You will learn about what priorities are important to the IDD community. You will also learn how to advocate for your needs or the needs of a loved one by meeting directly with legislators. Mm -hmm. Okay. Jamie, what is the Tracy Vanderwall Award about? The Tracy Vanderwall Award is a recognition award for individuals in the community for outstanding actions to help uh, forward um, the lives of individuals with disabilities. Uh, it is named after Tracy Vanderwall, who was the founder of the Legislative Forum, um, and she also passed away in 2018. Oh. So it's really, it's really about recognizing individuals who are going above and beyond for the disability community and, and getting them access or you know, working on a number of various projects. Now, do they have to have a disability or they're no. just... No, the award, the award is open to anyone. Oh, okay. Yeah. Very good. All right. Well, Blake, how can viewers help spread the word about this forum? Viewers can go to the forum website at PierceLegislativeForum.org. On the website, there are pre-made materials to share. You can put them on social media, print them out, send a link or email them. There's many ways to share these materials. Viewers can also invite others personally through word of mouth by phone, or even send a mass text. Very good. And who is responsible for convening the Legislative Forum? This is a Pierce County event facilitated by PAVE. PAVE stands for Partnerships for Action, Voices for Empowerment. PAVE helps create a planning committee to plan the event. The planning committee is made up of community members, nonprofits, self advocates, and the county. Very good. So, Jamie, what do the planning committee members do? 
We really work behind the scenes and make sure that everything logistically works out. We used to, before COVID, actually go down to Olympia to meet with legislators. And when COVID occurred, we, we didn't want the event to go away. It's an important event. We think it's very important for individuals with disabilities to be able to, to speak to their legislators and be represented. Right. So we put it on virtually now. And so we do everything from making sure that group homes to other individuals have access, have ways to log into the forum, can be present at the forum. So everything behind the scenes is, is what, we're, what we're doing. Very good. So when, when this event is live, how many participants do you usually have? What did R we roughly? have? What did we have last year? Mm. About a hundred, hundred and fifty. Mm. Yeah, about one hundred, hundred and fifty. Okay. The thing that's really nice is the event breaks down barriers for individuals with disabilities, um, so that they can actually have access to their legislators, mm. um, and and. That's what it's designed to do. It, it's really designed to provide access so that they can be heard. Individuals can be heard. Right. All right. Well, is there anything else you want to tell us about the forum itself or, or the award? Please, please share all of the information. It's available at piercelegislativeforum.org. You can sign up and register to attend. Uh, you can, as Blake said, you can share the links on your social media. You can do text messaging. We just really want to get the word out there for individuals to come and, and speak with their legislators. It's, it's for individuals with IDD. It's for their caregivers, their stakeholders. Um, it's, it's just a time for everybody to come out and be heard. Great. How long has the uh, organization been the disability our Development Disabilities Legislative Forum been going on? I, 2018, Tracy passed away. I don't know how many years prior to that it was started. Oh, okay. Sorry. Oh, no problem. All right, well, anything else you want to tell us about uh, uh, Goodwill and what you're doing there? Uh, so I'm the Regional Program Manager for Goodwill of the Olympic and Rainier Region. That's a mouthful. Um, I, I oversee the disability programming uh, for individuals with disabilities. We just recently launched a virtual learning library in response to COVID to keep folks, you know, employment ready and continue to grow their skills while we were in lockdown. Um, we're, we're trying to reach out to more uh, uh, communities and provide services for individuals with intellectual developmental disabilities. Great. Well, I want to thank you both for joining us today here on City Line. Thank you for having us. Yeah. And uh, once again, it's Blake Guyon, the Morningside Accessibility and Inclusion Liaison, and Jamie Stout, the Regional Program Manager of Disability Services for Goodwill. And thanks again. Thank you. And we'll be back with more in just a moment.